Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbyte. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. A man's being quizzed about the disappearance of a woman in Mayo 11 years ago. 29-year-old Sandra Collins went missing in December 2000. The man in his 40s was arrested this morning. In another cold case, a 38-year-old woman has been in court charged in connection with an attempted murder in the capital 23 years ago. Christopher Payne was attacked in his home at Rutland Grove in Crumlin in 1988. Lying in state, pictures have been broadcast on North Korea's state TV of Kim Jong-il's body in a glass coffin in the capital Pyongyang. The country's begun 11 days of mourning for the late ruler. Kim's successor, his youngest son Kim Jong-un, is being prepped to take over, but many worry he's not up to the job. US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met her Japanese counterpart last night to discuss the situation. We both share a common interest in a peaceful and stable transition in North Korea as well as in ensuring regional peace and stability. More survivors have been found from a deadly refugee boat disaster in Indonesia. Three days since the overloaded boat sank, 13 people have been found alive. The dozen men and one woman join more than 30 other survivors from the wooden vessel that was carrying 250 asylum seekers on a dangerous trip to Australia. Opposition leaders in Oz say the government should be accepting more refugees to prevent tragedies like this. It's yes at the EBS to a strike. Staff at the Building Society have begun a one-day action today. It's in protest at not getting their traditional Christmas bonus. The workers' union has warned unless the bonus is paid, today's strike will just be the start. Mission to save a ship. Video has been released showing New Zealand Defence Forces drop equipment to help a Russian fishing boat stranded in icy Antarctic waters. A fuel pump landed by the vessel that's trapped with 32 crew on board. We practice for this um, all the time over land. Uh, we don't often do this down at the ice. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Two teenagers in the US state of Arizona found themselves in that exact dilemma while hiking in Phoenix. The 13 and 14 year old cousins were hiking with a relative when they diverted from the trail. A rescue crew flew a helicopter into the area and dropped down a line to safely pick up the boys who escaped uninjured. Santa brought some early festive cheer to one of Rio's largest shanty towns. Santa Claus and volunteers from a local bank distributed thousands of gifts in the Brazilian favela. More than 15,000 presents were handed out in the Alamo complex that's home to more than 65,000 people. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, someone's got the hump over not getting on the telly. <laughs> At number four, this guy's got plenty of balls and he's not afraid to use them. At number three, tis the season things get slippy. At number two, one little girl doesn't quite get Santa Claus. You better watch out, you better watch out. Santa Claus is about to kill you. <laughs> and number one today, this family have gone all out to show their love for Christmas, dubstep style. <laughs> Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie. And Paul will be here with all of the sport. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.